Where's Eugene? For hours. Like, I literally am leaving the party now and Yuji is still not arrived. Where is Yuji? Yuji is in Mapuka land. I'm a little shy right now. But you know, I'll, I'm gonna try to practice patience and wait for Yuji to show up. I didn't know Yuji was Waldo because when I tell you, the rain came down and Yuji still wasn't at his party. Nana had to leave. Listen. I will knock Yuji in the throat. Why am I at your party and you are not there? We switched to downstairs in Soho. Yuji wasn't at his party. Where is Yuji right now? That's a question I think everyone is trying to figure out. No moto, no car, huh? Let's walk, let's talk. Go! Me, I know be trash, I know be baller. We overnight at the ten baller. We ten gun, now we chop proper. Now my papa is a talker. All my people, them go prosper. At the airport, ready this morning, and we couldn't get on the flight. They cancelled our Emirates flight at 3 p.m. at about 7 p.m., 8 p.m. in Abidjan. Wow's Amanda, Christabel, Kitty, Kwame, All Glory, Lynette. Are all getting ready to go to my party? But I'm not even in the country. I wonder how this is gonna go. Yuji official wasn't born Yuji official, you know. He had a name before, Eugene. And he was born in Ghana, in a very Christian home, loving family. Found my love, music, at the age of about 13 years old. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Just For Me. They used to have like an instructional cassette tape in the box, record radio shows on there. You know what I mean? I'd be rapping along, trying to get the flows right. Before I knew it, I was able to write my own raps, and the rest is history. Break it down now, see The way I like them, see buddy. All the places we go there This money, mm, it's making sense mm. And that's when I first knew Yuji Just for what? Someone in his team to tell me This is Yuji's table There was a bit of miscommunication guys And some of my team didn't know Amanda and squad were there and who they were And I was like, if it's Yuji's table, then I'm out The first thing we are going to make is um, the mashed potatoes and then we are going to make the chicken. I'm ready to hit the streets to uh, put some smiles on some kids' faces. Uh. I grew up uh, in a family where giving back was a lot. I, I can't remember a point in my childhood where I lived with just my parents and my siblings. There was always somebody else and my parents were always actively taking care of other people, either my cousins or friends. Or... So it's just growing up looking and watching my parents do that just influenced me heavily. Um, uh, so I started giving back at a very young age. There was a, an investigator in Ghana who discovered some things about what, when people give to orphanages, what it goes to. People were using it for their own personal gains and not giving it to the kids. So I decided to do something more impactful by going straight to the source, which was street kids, uh, children on the streets. That if I give hand over something to you, I know it's going directly to them. Uh, we 
morning today, I feel some street kids. It like was Jesus. nice. <laughs> say Jesus. <laughs> It was nice. Yeah, really. you, did, you, liked it, you, did. you know, say that be how the UN gets yeah, to know yeah. about me, and now I'm advocating a lot for refugees, uh, which is for continue going. feeding them. Anna and I met in high school. Uh, we were played by the same girl. Yeah, now I can confidently say it. But at that time, I was in denial. I was trying to be like I'm the only guy, and, and fortunately for me, I got a girl. So Nana and I were serious enemies for maybe close to like four or five years. Woman, woman, the cost of every shoe in the world. I forget to go bring your pepper sauce. Charlie, make you no vex me. So you start pepper really, business, you share to everybody, but me way I'll be the pepper. But it's really going well, I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, I always wanted to create um, a distinctive uh, spice because anytime I cook for my clients, my clients would ask what kind of spices are used. The process of just registering a product in Ghana is very tedious. I've taken samples of my spice about two or three times and they, they misplaced all of it. So it just demotivated me from uh, pursuing it. So, so how music they go? I get to trust a team, like my team, Links Entertainment, Empire, New Made in East New York, to actually handle business. Yeah. So I could just focus on being in the studio and making music. And Charlie, it's been an amazing year. I put out my Blue EP in 2020, May. And trust me, say cheese off that EP, one man, all of them. Tell him more things there. You understand, would you? My relationship with my dad is probably one of the best relationships in my life. I always tell people, before you tell me tea, just know that my father will also know the tea. Um, like, I talk to my dad like he's one of my homegirls. I absolutely love that man. Um, right before I came to Ghana, mm -hmm. I got on like a one-on-one -on -one call with my manager mm -hmm. and he was like, before you start talking, I just want to say like, I, I'm ready to start talking about your promotion. So oh, wow. next level, which is exciting. That's good, yeah. That's good news. That's good news. Very yeah. exciting stuff. You wanted to become a medical doctor and we were so happy. Yeah. Yeah, that you were working on it until you called me one day telling me that uh, you want you want to switch. <laughs> I said, wow. I couldn't believe it. I do always think back to like college and growing up and how you guys always wanted me to be a doctor and all of that. It's really important for me to make my family proud because from day one, my dad has like a dream home in East Ligon he's been building for years. He put that house on pause for me for like all of my high school years, did not touch it, did not add anything to the house because all of that money was going towards paying for my high school. And so it's little things and like little sacrifices. Sorry, why am I gonna cry? I can't cry. <laughs> and uh, I know you're gonna make it. I still support you. I'm no, you. your number one fan. So. Hey, high five for that. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. So I have definitely felt a lot of familial pressures to be successful. I think from day one, my parents have always drilled in my head that I have to aim high. Yeah. It's because you pushed me. So we Very. fight here and there. Yeah. But it's always for the People good. love to be like, enjoyment minister, that's great. But work is really, really, really important to me because I just have never forgotten where I'm coming from and I know where I'm trying to go. Oh, I am actually getting a call from one of my teachers. Hello. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm going to see you in a bit. I'm gonna okay, take this I call. You. I love you too. Okay, that sounds good. And so how many topics are we thinking for intermediate? Because I know for beginners, we're doing 10. <coughs> for intermediates, I'm wondering if we're keeping it the same. I am talking to my Ebo teacher right now. Um, I just hired her. She's a phenomenal woman, who's super passionate about the language. But we are trying to figure out how to develop an intermediate syllabus. African cultures are so different from one another that I want to make sure that we're highlighting the important things that matter in each culture. It could be about 10 topics and then 
obviously like how we're doing it for beginners, each topic would be one class. And so that would become 10 classes total. And then we can go it's from there. Okay, do that right too. Oh, perfect. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye. You know, them no no remix is something that just happened. You know, we all know them no no is a big song. Vibes Flair, big and we know that's my guy from Osu. Um, I have a lot of faith in him. I believe in him a lot. I'm coming out of Ace, the boys are there. Yo, we need to hear what our friend is. We need dope. I'm like, who's this guy? Vibes, vibes. So I said to them, even me saying this, I thought they wouldn't take it serious. So I said, yeah, go and bring him. Bring him if, he, if he's serious, bring him. Let me see him. I say, obviously. My whole plan is like to have different eyes from different parts of the world, you know. Now whenever we come together, it's like a whole, it's a state, you know. It's a future, yeah. it's a whole future yeah. country, you know. So I believe the way I believe you. See, the first time I heard you freestyle, bro, I was like, oh, this is madness. To me, I hear so much music Thank all you. the time, bro. It's always nice to, you know, help somebody else, help somebody who might be maybe younger or might not have the resources you have. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only for five fun girl through this music. Bad mind, some key and some pro bit. What me never skip since I follow all this time with the hearing this? I told you. That's one of the best freestylers I know. Only for them, bad mind me. Same key and some me pro bit. You see me, see me, we still have flow, same flow, yeah. Yeah, me dog, yeah. Yeah, take no lazy man talk. We do with this, so when the bag was stuck. Since I was a kid, I've always wanted to help the younger people and help whoever I can with what I know, so. Not everybody seems to be like that, but for me, it's always worked for me. It was, every door I open, I get more doors open for me. So being a mentor, if I can call myself that, um, is the only right thing for me to do. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel like I'm fulfilled. I wouldn't feel like I'm doing anything, because it's all nice, me getting money and me chopping and doing all this and that. If I'm not helping anybody else do that, then it's void, right? I'm writing a song and I'm inspired by a situation where you know, Christmas I meet this girl. Unfortunately, I meet her too late, where she just has a few more days to go back to her country. So I'm inspired to write a song about our last moments together. What you doing here? Um, so me and my sisters had to get our measurements for Afrotella. It's coming up. Stressful. It's crazy. But you know, we here. We're excited. What's the style this year? Because every year you guys be coming up with listen, some something. Listen, that's the secret, okay? Oh, we look like every year. It's daughters of Jezebel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, your fits be fired. A bevy of beautiful women cat calling me in 2017, 27th December. They're just like, he's. Okay, it was not a cat call, I would say. I was like, hi. I was just like, hey, you. The guys used to teach the girls they were doing it to me, and I felt so shy. My, my steps weren't even adding up at that time, but yeah, that's how I met Christabel. How's Zane, my guy? Listen, this man is growing like a plant. Like, so every cute. day he surprises me, every day he says something that makes me wonder, hey. So Zane is a really special boy, comedian, lover boy, everything. Yeah. Hey, what 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 have you been up to? What have you been up to? What's going um, on with you? you what's know, the tea? What's the tea? Who's who's you seeing? <laughs> who am I seeing? Who yeah. are you seeing? I mean, it's not like this year. Every year I enjoy myself anyway. But this year is special because you're you're here today. You're gone tomorrow. Hey. I'm going to be living, blowing money. Is he coming? <laughs> <laughs> After my last relationship, I've been scarred for life. You know? I'm dead. <laughs> well, word on the block is word on I'll the block is I've been scarred for life right that now. That you move on fast. Anyway, Christabel. Yes. I said, who are you seeing? I'm not Don't seeing. think you can run away from it because today, for here. You know, I'm chilling, dating, you know, living my best life. It must be nice. Yes, I'm happy. You are. I told you my last experience, scarring, jarring, fearful. She's spitting. I'm scarring, jarring, right barring. Isn't that what we're here for? <laughs> no, we're here in my song. Yes, okay. 
Am I your muse? Nah, your... nah. Do it. So take my hand, baby. Let me give you this good, good. What's my good? love, my honey. You look so good tonight. Wearing that dress, the one that I like, the one with the slit. <laughs> Yeah. I hope you guys, you know, get your measurements. I'm, I can't wait to see this fit. Don't give me handshake. <laughs> We're meeting at Sandbox, which is just, ugh, Sandbox. I love, it's like if there's a setting to have a girl's key key, it's Sandbox. Last night was an absolute banger. For Let's sure. talk about it. Talk about Let's it. talk about it. But it was What's fun. It was so fun. What's the tea? What's the tea? You know our crowd nights are always wild. Girls were looking good last night. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what were the guys looking like? What are we thinking? Would someone else like to take that? <laughs> Who is everyone talking to? Right. Who is everyone talking to? I'm doing the Inquisition right now. Wow, now you're putting us on the spot. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's nothing cute about that. <laughs> I spent a long time in a relationship just being a giver, giver, giver. And so it finally feels you know, good to just be giving back to myself. Wow. I know that's right. <laughs> the summer of clown season. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She's talking from experience. <laughs> no, that the ass. Summer right. of clown suits for us. <laughs> to put on your clown suit prematurely is to just get too excited about a man and then the disappointment follows the very next day. Go ahead. Go I ahead. I feel like I'm going. still like not talking to any. I feel like, well, I haven't been here that long though, mm -hmm. but I saw this tweet from DZ. Did y'all see that tweet where he was like, Of course sure we did. did. Oh. Who didn't? But listen, where he was like, oh, when, you, when, you, when she lands in a crowd, don't hit her up or whatever. Wait for her to hit you up. I was like, uh -uh. so DZ, now I'm not going to hit nobody up. Right, but that's right. the game y'all want to play? Oh, mm -hmm. all right, bet. Like, exactly. She said city boys versus hot right, girls. Listen, who is going to who's win? Going to win? Like, who's going to win? That's me personally. My my mind is even elsewhere. I had decided like I'm done dating. I wouldn't say I'm single. I'm single, but I'm not. I actually like asked out someone who I've decided. You asked, oh, yes, I asked him I out. Love that. I did. Okay. When a woman shoots her shot, you no don't miss. Mm -hmm. I don't think women miss when they shoot their shot. Men are not the ones with standards, ladies. Oh, it don't miss at all. Yeah. Yeah. I say all that to say it's still better than me because <laughs> I'm not doing We're seriously dating and oh. it's yeah, yeah, we're actually seriously dating, like it's going very well, I would say. So I'm like really proud of myself. So, like I love a tall, dark, handsome, mm. of course. Mm -hmm. I think oh, I think wealthy or rich or heading in that direction is important yes. to mm -hmm. me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm a girl who likes expensive things. I'm an expensive girl. <laughs> what I'm gonna do with a man without money? Like me pay for things? Yeah. It's, that's God did God did not put me on this earth to start, to struggle like that. Ain't no way. Yeah. Have you been studying for the GRE still? <sighs> I, I started <laughs> and then I stopped and then I started again. I stopped, but <laughs> but at the beginning of next year, full GRE mode like. Focusing on that, I just want to get it out of the way. Because I feel like that's Same. like the last part of like grad school application that I haven't finished or like don't have plans for. Because like recommendations, I feel like I know my manager, yeah. someone on my team, but GRE, I just have no test scores yeah. to present. No, seriously, so, I'm with you. Like, yeah. I feel like I have, I'm like trying to make sure that I'm doing things that are like not just there to like bolster the application or right. anything. But to make sure that like I'm a good candidate for the yeah. top schools, you know, cause some man somewhere is waiting for Harvard. So, ah, so can you it. imagine? You know Harvard, Harvard. Harvard. You know the African yeah. does. They love, so love, they love, love that school. That school. For oh the top. my. Yeah. Like you're in B school. How's that going? For you? <laughs> 
Um, I mean, it's fine. I think, you know, this is so, it all depends on like what your intention is going mm -hmm. and what you want to learn and achieve and accomplish. Yeah. Gotta interrupt you there now. Because, I mean, we all saw the video on yeah. the story, right? Mm. Perhaps the most important thing that I've learned from business school is that I'm actually a lot more impressive than I thought I was. I feel like I hadn't really given myself enough credit until I stood by other people who simply just couldn't really compare. I'm sitting here thinking like, oh my God, I cannot believe you are 30 years old and you've actually, in my opinion, accomplished next to nothing in life. <sighs> I mean, you have a platform. So you inspire people, like people want to be like you. Us black women, like sticking together, that kind of a thing. And it kind of just like had a soul for you and then everyone else below. This is kind of awkward because I, I don't know. I was just like, I was hurt. My thing is like, this girl, you're not even at my school, sis. You're not even a student there. like. And it was one thing for her to bring it up, but Shadi went in. I'm coming from like disappointed, Will Glory. Like it hurt me because I know your intentions are good. Honestly, like that's that definitely wasn't my intention at all. And if it was, I wouldn't have talked about it like that on Instagram story, yeah, right? What, like I'm not stupid. Me. I was like, yeah. Will Glory's going in right now. Like, right. Like that wasn't. Like, I don't want to talk about this and she's talking about it. She's bringing it up. She's bringing the elephant right smack in the table. I feel so awkward right now. I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. I feel like she could have come to me one on one to talk about it. It has been on her chest. I saw this coming. I saw this one coming. Um, it's a little, this is a little nerve wracking for me. I always think you're a polarizing person. I mean, it was crazy based on how she was speaking about her fellow classmates. I'm like coming from a place of like, I'm that friend that's like ready to hold you accountable and I, vice versa as well. So it was like even shaking me that Amanda was like, I'ma let it chill. There was a perspective that some people weren't getting, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. I'm a little shook by Amanda. I will not lie because it's giving three against one. I can't just take on Christabel's personality because she wants something to happen. I'm definitely feeling very icky about what Christabel had to say, and especially in the way she said it. I'm waiting for the accountability and it never came. No moto, no car, huh? Let's walk, let's talk. Go! Me, I know be trash, I know be baller. We overnight at the ten baller. We ten god, now we chop proper. Now my papa inside talker. All my people, them go prosper. See, girl, with the hood posture. I done 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 a whole lot. I done done got a whole lot. See, where see, be good, be. You know, go find out me more way. Make your back carry crochet. All the places we go there. Yeah.